You know, one of the recurring things that I keep hearing over and over and over is what are the best neighborhoods to live in Baltimore City? Should I live here? Should I live there? Well, who knows? And the reason we, I say who knows, it's because you are different than another client of mine and so on and so forth. So in this video today, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break down five of the best neighborhoods to live in Baltimore City. So if you're looking to learn what neighborhoods we're gonna be talking about today, stick around, we're getting after it right now. What is up everyone? It's Adam Taylor with the Relentless Home Group right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel and you're looking to learn all about Baltimore, great news, you're in the right spot. We do videos talking about living here, working here, chilling here, and most importantly, getting out and enjoying not only all the great things you can do here in Baltimore, but in the entire state of Maryland. So if that's the info that you're looking for, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we drop another video just like this one. Now right now, my team and I, we are fielding phone calls, emails, and text messages from all over the world, I kid you not, from people looking to make a move right here to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, we'd love to hear from you, and more importantly, help you out in that transition, but we just need one thing from you, and that's for you to connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever you need to do. Hey, my team and I, we have your back when moving right here to Maryland. All right, first up on our list is the community of Fells Point. Now, Fells Point is fantastic. If you are a history lover, you will love the cobblestone streets right in front of the Broadway market. You're gonna love the beautiful row houses that go through there. If you are into the food scene or bar scene, Fells Point is pretty much, if not number one, it's gonna be number two on the list in all of Baltimore, where you can find some of the best restaurants and some of the best bars with great atmosphere to really enjoy yourself. Now, one thing to also let you know on the flip side of this is Fells Point, it, there's a lot of transient traffic coming in and out of Fells Point. People going to dinner, people going out, having a good time, that sort of thing. And things can get a little loud in downtown Fells. So what I may recommend is that you expand your home search and look in Upper Fells Point so that you can sort of find a spot that's a little quieter but still really close to all the action in Fells Point. All right, second on our list is the community of Mount Vernon. Now, what's great about Mount Vernon, it's located just five minutes outside of the center of downtown Baltimore. And if you are into the arts, you're gonna love Mount Vernon because this is pretty much the art district of Baltimore. You have the Maryland Institute College of Art, which is also known as MICA. You have University of Baltimore is actually ironically located in Mount Vernon. Now. You also have the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra performs there at the Meyerhoff Symphony Hall. And then you've got Walter's Art Museum. You also have the Lyric Opera House as well. All of these things are located in this small little section called Mount Vernon right here in Baltimore. Now, in addition to that, sprinkled in between all of these great spots to go for your entertainment needs are great little boutiques and coffee shops. It's just a real like cozy and warm, fun place to be. And I'll share a story with you. I've gone down to see at the Meyerhof. They actually do a cool performance. So say you like Star Wars or Harry Potter, you can actually go in, you know, I don't know, whenever they're playing their shows. I think I went in the fall and they'll actually show the movie. <laughs> movie screen inside the Meyerhof and the orchestra will actually play all the music tied to the movie and that's really cool with movies like Star Wars, Harry Potter, those sorts of things. So that's your thing. You got to check out Mount Vernon. It's a great spot that I think you'll really love. Third on our list is the community of Hamden. Now I love Hamden. I keep coming back to Hamden because it's a lot of fun and in my eyes, it's kind of like the chillest place in Baltimore. The people are very laid back. The atmosphere is a bit more relaxed. And what's neat about it is you'll see some like quirky shops and very like independent off the wall things happening in Hamden. It's just really neat to see that eclectic style that Hamden has. Now, one of my favorite spots to go to eat in Hamden is Wicked Sisters. Now their food there is spectacular. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but the atmosphere and the service make it worth the wait. Another thing you may not know about Hamden, or maybe you do for that matter, is Hamden is home to 34th Street in Baltimore. And what this is, it's a collection of homes. They get together on 34th Street and they basically decorate the entire block during the Christmas season. I'm kidding you not. The whole block is open and you've got Christmas lights completely across the street back and forth. All the homes are decorated 
decorated to the nine. And there's some funny things that you can see in Hamden. You'll see a Christmas tree on a guy's front yard that's made out of hubcaps that he's collected. It's stuff like this that makes Hamden so unique and a place in reality that you must check out. Now make sure you get in to Hamden during the Christmas season to see 34th Street because it's a lot of fun. Now, I will tell you this. When I went down there, oh, what? A few years back for the first time, believe it or not, I hadn't hadn't been there living here, you know, all of my life. And on TV, and when like newscasts go over there and things, it looks a lot bigger than it is. In reality, it's not. It's quite small, but the people are so welcoming. Essentially can go into probably a dozen or more homes and look around on the first floor because their doors are all open. It's essentially like an open house for the entire block. So my friends, check out Hanbin. It's a great place to call home here in Baltimore. Number four on the list, Locust Point. And I love Locust Point for many reasons. The best reason of all, I feel like Locust Point is sort of city living with a suburban feel. Now, what I mean is it just feels a little slower. Like things are going a little bit slower in Locust Point because it's sort of a bit isolated. It's located on the peninsula. It's right, it basically borders Fort McHenry and Federal Hill. So Federal Hill is on the western side, Fort McHenry is on the eastern side. And if you go past Fort McHenry, guess what? You're swimming in Inner Harbor in Baltimore. So you're gonna find tons of row homes in Locust Point. They've got elementary school, they've got McHenry Row, which is a great spot to get like your groceries at Harris Teeter. You can get a cup of coffee. They've got a Dunkin' over there, some other good restaurants. Under Armour is actually headquartered in Locust Point as well. And it's cool to see if you, you know, if you're a runner and you go jogging through the neighborhood and you go by the company's headquarters, you're going to be able to see that. So my friends, Locust Point is a great spot for those of you that sort of want to stay off the beaten path and have your foot in the city, but also kind of like one foot in the suburbs. I think it's a good, good thing. Now, the one thing I want to come back to is the one caveat about Locust Point, or I should say the downfall, is trains. A lot of the freight train lines come right through Locust Point. So make sure when you go, you sort of get oriented to where the trains are going because in reality, you could be looking at a home online and it looks great, but what's cropped out and missing hmm. are the train tracks outside. So here's my recommendation. Jump online, look at Google Maps, look at the street view, flip it around and reorient things so that you can see what's going on around you and then go out of it, kind of come up and look at an aerial view to see where the railroad tracks are around Locust Point because that unfortunately is one of the downfalls. But everything else about it, I absolutely love. Look, if you are finding value in this video, it would mean the world to me and give me a great, you know what, high five and keep me motivated to keep producing videos. If you'd hit that like button down below, I would be really appreciative of it. Keeps the wind in my sails and keeps me going and producing videos just like this. Now on the flip side, I also want you to comment. Here's the deal, because this video can only be so long and let's face it, hey, people's attention spans aren't hours long and I could go hours on these neighborhoods, but we want your questions to get answered. So drop your question down below, either myself, someone on my team, or one of the great Marylanders watching this video will do our best to answer your question to get you the local info that you need. So let's jump in to our next great neighborhood for you to check out. All right, the next neighborhood you need to check out is Federal Hill. And I love Federal Hill. It's, it's just a fun spot to go to. It's always hopping. The downside with it being busy all the time though, and this is the one asterisk that I wanna put on Federal Hill, is the parking over in Federal Hill can be atrocious at times, especially the street parking. If you're parking in a lot, you're good. But trying to find street parking in Federal Hill, uh, 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 it's probably one of the toughest spots in the entire city to park. I can remember, what, just about a year, year and a half ago, Kyle and John were coming on in here from San Diego, showed them a place in Fed Hill. They fell in love with it, bought a place on Charles Street, just down from the Cross Street Market, and they're loving it right now the last time I talked to them. But speaking of Cross Street Market, Cross Street Market is essentially the staple in Fed Hill. And it's just a collection of restaurants, coffee shops, grab and go stuff like sandwich shops and things, pizza places to get a great bite to eat very quickly. I'll share with you a quick story here real quick. I took my son down to his very first Ravens game here just a few weeks ago. It was actually the coldest you know, Ravens game ever on record. So we go walking in the Cross Street Market from the Light Street side of it and we look like the kid from the movie Christmas Story. What is it? What is it? 
with all his clothes on like this because we had like three or four layers of clothes on. <laughs> so did everybody else, so we weren't alone. I'm carrying a sleeping bag in there and people kind of looking at us a little strange, but it, it was all good. But as soon as we walk in, you can hear the music and hear the crowds and, and the vibrant atmosphere inside a Cross Street Market on a Ravens game day is off the charts. I You're not gonna find anything better in Baltimore, you know, during Raven season, you know, to go to than right there in Cross Street Market. But where I'm going with this, we sat down, we grabbed a burger. He's just like, he looks over at me while we're sitting there eating. He's like, dad, this is awesome. And guess what, son? We haven't even gone into the game yet. This is just pre-gaming before we get into the spot. So Federal Hill is a great spot. The community really opens up and welcomes you on in. You're not gonna feel like an outsider in Federal Hill. It's a very walkable community because you can pretty much get to all the places that I'm talking about within a five to 10 minute walk, probably closer to five minutes if that. You can go to Federal Hill Park. Matter of fact, I actually did a vlog on Federal Hill and I'll actually put it, uh, uh, I think it's probably gonna pop up over here, put a card up there so you can check that vlog out if you want a deeper dive into Federal Hill. So there you are, my friends. Those are five incredible neighborhoods right here in Baltimore City. Now, those are only five. There's 245 plus more that may fit your needs. So when you're ready to look for a home or you're looking right now, the best thing that you can do is reach out to us so we can start your home search. So we just need you to pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever you need to do. Look, my team and I, hey, we got your back. We're moving right here to Baltimore, Maryland. From Baltimore down the bay to the beaches in Ocean City, we got you covered. Now, before you go, look, I wanna jump into you here and recommend you check out this video right here. It's a vlog of Federal Hill. It'll really give you a bit more perspective on what's going on here in Baltimore. So until the next video, my friends, I will catch you later. Take care.